The society has always deemed education as the key to success. But how relevant can it get if one has to go to school on an empty stomach? Maurice Gitonga, a resident of Frungai, saw the need in his area and decided to make a move that would be beneficial to many. The program, which was started with the intention of feeding children, has been in existence for quite some time now, since its inception by Gitonga's parents. I am a father figure to the kids. I am also the manager. Um, uh, I also do a bit of directing. I, if you come in on some fine days, you'll find me cooking. So I am um, um, all things so that I can make them uh, as everybody who comes in as comfortable as possible. I've just created space where kids have an opportunity to be kids. They have an opportunity to be childish. They have a, an opportunity to do their homework. They have an opportunity to teach one another. And they have an opportunity to ask questions that they don't have an opportunity to ask elsewhere and also I create time for them. Uh, I invite tutors from the local universities. So it's not a tuition, it is a willing program whereby the kids who don't have this kind of atmosphere where they come from have it here. In this setup, the children do not recognize the art of spoon feeding as they have to plan for and prepare the intended meal by themselves something that has taught them self-reliance on a larger scope. We meet every Friday in a school setup, in a club setup. We've, uh, we, uh, we come alive under a program called TBF, that is Transformation for a Better Future. The kids themselves coin that phrase. It's a program whereby kids run their own affairs. They come up with their own ideas. We, they come up with the menu, what they want to eat. They cook it how they want to cook it. And uh, when they want to learn, they learn. And I found that by giving them this space, they're able to realize that they have so much control over their lives. So we, we, when they came in, when they came on board, there were so many challenges, even with the administration in school. But right now, they're some of the best kids in the, in the school, and we don't fight, we don't beat, they're not beaten, we don't, they don't fight at school, but they challenge one another. Yeah, so by doing that, we found that it, it, we can very easily sway the behavioral problems and the, make sure that they don't recur and make sure that the, chi, the kids change or the children change their habits themselves without being monitored extremely. Now, I'm not saying they're angels, but I'm saying that they're honest when they express themselves. And that for me is an achievement. By doing this, Morris has given a platform for the kids to not only share meals, but also interact on a personal label and learn the virtue of discipline. I've just opened up my eyes. I'm using what God has blessed me with. He has blessed me with space. He has blessed me with a home, with a good space and a bit of structures that can be of use. And uh, previously, right now we are dealing with uh, class seven and class eight, that is the uh, adolescent age, whereby so many challenges are coming on board. But previously, we used to have a preschool program where we have a baby class, nursery and pre-unit. And uh, some of the kids I'm having now used to be in my program then. So I used to teach them when they were in preschool. Now they're in class eight. And uh, the group I have right now is around uh, 45, 45 to 50. And uh, 35 of them are in class eight. And these 35 have been with them from last year. And uh, we don't do something extraordinary. No, we've just created a friendship. We've created a relationship. We cook, eat together, work together, challenge one another, deal with the discipline cases together, where if one kid is indisciplined, we all gather together and we lay the case before everybody and everybody has a chance to comment. Interacting with children, especially those from beneficiary schools, has made his program famous, hence attracting more kids to his operation. The headmistress of the Nakel Primary School, where most of these kids are drawn from, uh, she's a very good friend of mine, and I've worked with her when I used to run the feeding program, because I used to have to get permission for kids from her to come and have lunch. So we've, we kept that relationship alive. So last year, but one, she had so many behavior challenges when she was shifted from one school to that school, and uh, she called on all her friends to come on board and just try and change and transform one, one kid 
or two kids at a time. So through that, I was I was introduced to the kids, and I was given the ones that were really really challenging, and I was given a setup every Friday, where a setup whereby in form of a club, that is a transformation for a better future club, normally known as or commonly called TBF program. So I've never done a club before. Uh, I know there's a wildlife club and all that. So we did TBF as a club, and I was able now to interact with the children from that setup. And we became famous and uh, they came to know about this place by me inviting all those who wanted to learn and to have a meal. Maurice has been met with a few hiccups here and there, but that hasn't in any way acted as a hindrance to his mission. More challenges. Uh, am I making a change? Am I really reaching out to these kids? Uh, when some of them come and report to me, you teacher, you know what, yesterday I did this and this. You ask them, but I've been telling you about this and this, and then you know we face and tackle the problem. Uh, financial pa challenges are there. Last year, we had a good supply, I think for my wife, and then uh, she had to, or she, I think she lost her job, or I know she lost her job. So from a financial perspective, from what I was able to provide, until now that well, that was lost. So putting a decent meal or even a meal for the kids is tough. But we've been, uh, we came up with an idea of contributing 20 shillings. But then I told them, if you don't have it, still come. And on and on, bumps up and downs and all that, we've been having them. And I think there are challenges in infrastructure. Because the space we were enjoying, somebody else came along and leased it. And my dad leased it to them. Uh, maybe the, what I was doing was lost to him, or they did not see the value. I don't know. Whatever challenges. So the space became also has become also an issue. Uh, we need the books, and uh, we need uh, clothes, shoes, all these other normal things for especially girls and the boys. Uh, the girls need a mother figure, they need uh, a challenge, they need good success, success stories that I was here, I changed and I made it. Uh, the boys need the same. We have some great footballers, I've, I've watched them play time and again in the fields. So the challenge is continuity, the challenge is to keep the fire burning. I'm inspired by Jesus. And I'll create discipleship through that. People who eat together, play together, they tend to create a certain unique bond. And uh, for us, food is a, is a good time for us to sit and interact. And you find that we get closer when we eat together. With that, we are facing so many challenges with cooking, firewood. It's not economical, it's not affordable firewood anyway. So we, we got a meko, refilling it is also a challenge. Uh, the kind of meals we have, or the kind of meals we would want to eat, sometimes is a, a bit evasive, a bit of finances, finances. But one or the other we always manage. Like porridge, when we don't have sugar. And we really enjoy it. In fact, we even forgot to buy sugar in yeah. So far, he a test of a positive impact and therefore his greatest desire is for others, especially schools, to borrow a leaf. I can tell you for free, I was shocked, I was surprised, especially for the guardians, the mothers. Uh, it has impact them, uh, impacted so positively upon their lives, even, even the teachers in school, the class teachers, were asking what is this TBF one about, what, what do these kids do there? Uh, the, the parents came, some of them came, the mother said, hey, teacher, oh, you are the teacher? Yes, okay. I just want to say thank you. We have one case of a child who was even being taken to a psychiatrist because she could not talk. She could not open up in the house. She comes, she does her work, she keeps quiet, she watches TV, goes to bed, doesn't say anything to the mom. And, uh, and for me, when, she, when the, she came on board, she was the least of my problems because she was not very energetic or up and down. So I used to give her responsibilities, then she opened up more responsibilities. Now she's speaking and opening up. So the parents are good. As for the community, they've been really supportive. 
and they saw the edges and all, everything. So if one of my kids is seen somewhere doing something by one of my neighbors, they'll come and say, I saw your kid. So I come and tell them, well, uh, you were seen and you were doing this and this. So oh, this and this was happening. So the community doesn't have a problem. I know if they had good enough materials to, uh, to maybe to share, they would be sharing. But just giving us peace and letting us be, for me, that's a good contribution. For the parents, to give you their child every Saturday, to give you their child, boy child, girl child, I think that's trust. And they, th and they see the changes. We have one success stories of uh, one of our girls. She used to get, I think, 240, very stubborn. But at the end of the day, she got 308 marks. So to me, one child at a time, one child at a time. How bright is the future as far as this initiative is concerned? I hope and pray that each and every school can create such a space. Each and every school can create a place whereby kids can be allowed to be, to be kids. I don't know whether you've ever sat and considered how many rules and regulations kids go through and what happens to them if they break a cup. Everybody shouts, are you, are you, why aren't you watching? Or if they fall down, it, they are to be blamed. But in some cases, all we need to do is give them space to express themselves, to be stupid, to make those stupid mistakes and to come back again and to allow them to sit with you and look at the mistakes. You understand? Like no one, one of my kids comes and tells me, teacher 31st, can we come and spend it at your place? I say, why? Say, teacher, every time we spend it at our house, the following day, there's a dead, there's a dead body on the road. He says, really? Yeah, 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 every year. I said, wow. Now, when some of my kids come and tell me, teacher, do you go to Matanga? I say, oh, no, I don't go to Matanga. Why? We go to Matanga often, yes, eh? Why? Oh, we go there, we eat Mwoka, we dance. Say, so you dance with who? You understand? So when they come back and tell me, you know, teacher me, I all that. I said, why? I thought you liked it. No, you see, you told us, you, you understand? That is growth. So for the future, I will love them to teach to the same impact, same loving the other kids. There is always light at the end of the tunnel, as is evident in this statement. You can make an impact. You can make an impact. Uh, Kenyans are very good, and we are very good, and we are very generous, because most 70% of what we have has been done through Kenyans and their wonderful generosity. Uh, you can do it. Just that, that desire. Mentor one child, mentor two children, mentor three children. For example, the country of Kenya is led by how many people? One person, right? He's the president. So it's not about numbers. It is about positively impacting somebody. Now, I do this because I'm a born-again Christian. I allow the love of God to flow through me to the kids because the relationship you have is one based on love. It's not about what you can give or what you cannot give. It's not even about the behaviors. It's not about the what out of your their backgrounds. It's not about. It's not even a tribal thing. We are, you know, for one reason or the other, mainly Christian. I have some of my kids who used to be in my preschool, who used to be Muslim, but I'm now Christians. So that's the background, that's the setup. So as a Christian, just go out in your churches, create time to talk to the kids, and you can make an impact. And uh, I don't know about finances. God provides for everything that we need. If He touches you to come along, come on board, be a shining light to these ones. But Access to adequate quantities of nutritious food remains a challenge for many. Therefore, let us all join hands in fighting undernutrition and break the recurrent cycle of hunger. I love kids. I get a very, very well with kids. I think the child in me has resisted growing up. And uh, I know that if when I was growing up we had such a program, if our kids, our generation had such a program running, I think we'd have a totally different setup. Mm -hmm.